Hey guys, how's it going? Kentucky Air Bros. Jack here, and welcome to an unboxing and review of the um, Elite Force Tactical 1911 CO2 blowback pistol. Now, this has just come in, as you can clearly see. Uh, well, it's still in the box and everything. I just scratched out the, my address and everything, just, you know, for security purposes. But we're going to move on here, and we'll just go ahead and start uh, unboxing, or taking all this off. I'm not using my knife because I seem to place it somewhere and I can't find it, so. Now this is obviously going to be cut into two different clips and probably over two different days because I do not have any CO2 yet. Uh, I need to go to uh, either Dick's Sporting Goods or go to, you know, a sportsman's warehouse and get it, get some 40, 40, 40 uh, little canisters of CO2, so. So I have plenty of it, but, um. Alright, so here it is. Uh, we have, what is this? We have some stickers, I believe. Yes, we have stickers. And then we have, uh, let's see, we, yeah, we got some, I think, is those stickers? Or no, those are just type of, those are stickers. We got troubleshooting, uh, pr recommended pre precision BB ammo, uh, chargers, I don't know why, uh, battle buddy. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, the, um, Airsoft GI uh, laws, responsibility, and respect for others. Safety manual, pretty much, uh, for airsoft. But this is really isn't too too important. Um, so, whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah, this. But uh, we're moving on to opening the box here. Let me go ahead and zoom out. So now here we have it right here. Hopefully, y'all can still see that pretty well. Yeah, you can. So you lift off here. Doesn't doesn't comes undone there. You got your the manual for the gun, and then you open it, and you know, oh, I think this is your, the warranty, uh, one of these is the warranty, there's a warranty somewhere in here, I know there is, uh, but there's like a 60 day warranty that you, you're going to want to fill out, but so this is basically your man manual, uh, for the gun, it's not really too much needed, but uh, here we have, I hate the styrofoam, uh, Wow, it's a really nice weight to it. Very, very nice weight to it. You, got, you see, you can have your ambidextrous safeties. You have on this side here. You have on this side right here. Here, let me fix it. Sorry, excuse me for all the sniffling. I'm not feeling too, too well. Then, oh, the magazine's in it. Oh, cool. And then you can see the magazine. You have your mag release here. Right there, the little button. And then you pull off the magazine there. You have a very nice 14 round magazine with your CO2 that goes in the top. And then the Allen wrench, as you can see right there, uh, is what you use to activate the CO2. There's a little Allen key there. So then you slide the mag back in like that. It's a fully, fully functioning blowback pistol, CO2. And see, it's got the halfway mag release there. You can just pull it back and see. This gun is absolutely amazing. Uh, so right now, yeah, it's got, you see you got the trigger, the grip safety here. You've got uh, the skeletalized trigger there, and you have a tactical rail on the bottom. That's the whole reason of the name of the tack in the name. Uh, you've got the Elite Force 1911 tack name. You've got the, it does have a threaded barrel, and there's a tip you can buy, or uh, it's basically a suppressor. But it, from what I've heard from friends who have this pistol, it doesn't really do much for it. It just sort of muffles a sound. So. That, uh, but it's already muffled enough, so I don't think it's really needed. Ah, oh, this pistol is so nice. I love this pistol. The, fe the feel of this pistol is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. You can see it's got its three, three dot sight. You can see it right there. Uh, like I said, it's got the, it, well, what I didn't say is it's got the two-tone paint color. You can see it's got the desert tan and it's got the black on the top. I love this color, this com color combination. So it's a great color and the magazine is actually, it's very, it's kind of difficult to get out. It doesn't really pop out. You see, it barely pops out there whenever you shoot the button. So it pops up, but you got you, you sort of have to pull it out right there. So, and then the way you load your BBs, of course, is, uh, which I do not have any BBs on me. So I'll, you pull it down and you pull it down like the ouch, whoops. Pull it down like this, and then you gotta use a speed loader to, of course, load them in the mag. And then, yeah, you have your CO2 release. I don't know why you'd use that. It's emptying the CO2. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is a 14 round magazine. Uh, CO2 blowback pistol, fully functioning blowback. As you can see, it's it goes all the way back. It goes all the way forward. 
very nice. Very, very nice pistol. And you have your Allen key right here for obviously the bottom of the magazine to activate your CO2. And I don't believe, nope, there's nothing else on the box. So right now we're going to move on to, uh, I guess, the shooting and all the other additional details to this pistol. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, now before I do like the whole shooting and everything, and we move on to that, uh, I'm going to be explaining some little, some little difficult, not difficult, uh, different uh, individual details about this gun, and you know, just so you all can know it more, but as I said in the beginning of the video, this is the Elite Force 1911 Tactical CO2 Blowback Pistol, made by, well, obviously Elite Force. Um, it's a fully metal 1911 replica, with a fully functioning blowback action. And it takes 12 grams CO2 only. Only 12 gram and only CO2. And the magazine is 14 round magazine. And this gun's FPS can range from 345 to 390 FPS. Uh, FPS is feet per second for those of you who don't know. Um, but yes, with a with about with a, a brand new case of CO2 in the gun, it'll be about be about 390. And then you know, as the more the CO2 uses up, the less you know, the, the the less further the bullet will go, and uh, so that's pretty much that. And this is made by made. This gun is made by KWC for Elite Force. One of the cool features about this trigger or about this gun is that it has a tactical bottom rail, uh, a full skeletalized trigger, ambidextrous safety, uh, threaded barrel, and uh, well, it's just or, oh, and uh, it's got the which I'm gonna call it the uh, hand grip safety, and it's got the three dot sight, and it's just a very great pistol in general. Oops, let me see if I can do this real quick. Perfect, that's a bit better. And uh, just some additional notes for this pistol: it's got a full metal slide and body, uh, no plastic parts on this pistol whatsoever, at least none that I have uh, noticed myself. So, uh, and it's got a two tone color. If you can't see this, if you can't see, obviously, then you're blind. Uh, it's got a two tone color, which is uh, the desert kind of tan color, and then the black. And uh, the barrel length is approximately 7.5 inches long, and the weight of the pistol is about two, I, I want to say like two pounds, but what I saw from different websites, obviously, it said five, so I'm going, I'm going to go with five pounds. Um, but, and uh, the price range, the price range of this pistol can vary differently. Uh, can vary much differently depending on where you're buying it, and you know whether if it's used, or uh, whether if it's refurbished or it's brand new. Mine I bought on airsoftgi.com. A link to the website will be in the description below. Um, but it's a very, very good airsoft website. And uh, but the price I bought for was 119.99. So that's that's American U.S. dollars. So. Um, yeah, I bought it for that much, but the price can, but as I said, depending on where where you're about to buy it, can vary from you know a hundred to a hundred and fifty. So personally, I think I got it for a kind of a, a great price. You know, it was right in the center and everything. But uh, now we're gonna move on to um, going down to a, a different place instead of this table, and we're gonna be moving on to uh, loading the CO2 and uh, yeah, shooting the pistol and see how well it fires. And this pistol has not been shot before. Uh, it's just been taken out of the box. This is just the second clip of taken out of the box. So, uh, guys, yeah, I will see you when we, I guess, when we start shooting it. All right, guys. So we're here. We're getting ready to shoot this gun. And uh, well, first of all, these items that you see here are the items you are going to need to have. Well, obviously, you don't need to have this exact ammo, but I highly recommend uh, the .2 grams. And I always get the 5,000 of these because it's plenty. And you're going to need your Allen wrench that comes with, oops, your Allen wrench that comes with the pistol. And the 12 gram CO2, as you can see here. I just bought a small box, so it's not really, not really much, but, uh, it's not really, well, obviously you don't have to get a box like this. You can get whatever size box you want. But anyway, no, it's not my point. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of these. And now, when you first look at the magazine, and you go to put on, I guess, on the wrong side, what I did is I put it in here thinking, oh no, there's the wrong side size of CO2. But when actually, there's on the on the left side of the magazine, there's the bigger space where you put, so the way you slide, put, your CO, put your 12 grams in, is you slide in the front there, and then you have to make sure that you have it lined up there on the center of that. So you slide it in there, you have to, you sometimes have to lift it up a tad. 
And then so once it's in there, you take your Allen Allen wrench and you put it in the little key on the bottom of the magazine. And you slowly start twisting it to the right. And then you have to start doing it. And then once it gets tighter, you want to start you know, start doing it more quickly. Like, whoops, oh, that was loud. Sorry about that. And you want to start just make sure it's tight. Make sure it's all tight and everything. Now there you go. Your 12 grams are loaded. And now, now it's time for uh, loading the BBs. Now I'm just going to take some of my 0.2 gram uh, BBs here, uh, and I'm just going to load them into a speed loader. Now I highly, I do highly suggest that uh, if you're going to be using this gun, that you use a speed loader because either one, it's going to really hurt your hands while loading this magazine, and two, you're going to be reloading this gun very slowly, unless of course you have two magazines that are loaded and something like that. So, oops, a few extra BBs. Ah, come on, there we go. So let me put those back in there cap on that. <clears throat> so like I said, you want to use a speed loader because it's a little difficult. You're going to slide this down and it locks in somehow, I believe. So I did it earlier and I can't quite remember. Yeah, so it locks in there and then you're going to want to, <coughs> excuse me, you want to put your tip of your speed loader up to it like this. And you, Oops, ouch, that hurt. Spring popped up. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to uh, lock it in, but there we go. So, whoa. Okay, so it pops out. You can see it pops out right there. And then you're going to want to just load your BBs in. Make sure you not you don't hit the bottom. And you'll see they're, they are a bit difficult to get in at first. Uh, for obviously first loading the gun. And you are going to have BBs that go all over the place as usual. Alright. Come on. Come on, cooperate with me. Now, also, as I'm loading this mag, I will say that there are uh, other magazines available for this gun. So you can buy other magazines, but I do just say that you don't, you not, because first of all, they're very expensive magazines. I don't know why they're so expensive. And well, second of all, this one's, I guess, a very nice magazine for, I guess, for a single pistol. So that's pretty much that. And they're in the zigzag forms. You can see the BBs there. They go in zigzag like that. And now, uh, well. What you want to do is you want to take it, take it down, take that little part of it down, and then you're going to just... Now, you might be able to fit an extra BB in there if you really take it down, but I'm just going to put an extra one in there, so I believe there's like 15 in here. I don't know, but uh, now we're going to be loading, putting the magazine in the gun, and uh, firing it for the first time. So this is out-of-the-box firing, obviously. So you're going to just take your slide back, slide it back, put the lock in, load the magazine into the gun, and you'll see, if you can see right in there, the BB's in there. And then what you do... Release the slide, and now you are ready to fire. So I'm going to cut to uh, getting ready to fire this thing. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so now we're getting ready to fire this thing for the first time. Obviously, as I said before, it's out of the box firing. And uh, if you can see here, we have a uh, a small target set up down, and that small adhesive target set down, set down, I guess, down there on the post there. So we'll be aiming for that. This is a good. Uh, I don't want to. How many yards? I guess a good. Um, about maybe uh, 25 to 30 yards. So hopefully they're going to be aiming for this thing. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing. <laughs> Forgot safety. Safety right there, as I get. And then we're going to break out the grip safety. Wow. This thing... Ooh. This thing is incredibly quiet. I have to say that. I definitely have to say that. This thing is incredibly quiet. See, that was 14 rounds, so that's actually quite a decent amount of rounds for a pistol. But the some of the cons about this pistol is that basically you have to carry around an Allen wrench if you're going to want to be re reloading the CO2 on your pistol. So, uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and let's just put that back in. Safety on. Oops. Yep, there it goes. Just really slide. There we go. Let's go ahead and just uh, I guess walk over here and take a look at how you know this, how we hit this target. Now, obviously, I did not realize how the how the uh, BBs were going until um, I'm gonna have to obviously adjust the hop up on this pistol. Uh, but we hit sort of down, oops, down to the uh, you know left corner of this right here, as you can see. Went clear, went clear shot through, and we had up here also on the top left, and uh, I think we yeah right here in the bottom corner, and then right here on the top right. So we hit two shots right here, a nice grouping right here, and then we got one right here. 
So uh, that's that's what we're aiming for. Now uh, I'm not gonna be doing a video about how to adjust how to ah sorry how to be adjusting the hop up on this pistol because it's a little bit difficult. But I might do that in a different video. Um, I don't want to make this too too long. But guys, this has been uh, a unboxing and review of the um, pretty much of the Elite Force Tactical 1911. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this enjoyed this video. Hit that favorite button also. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Kentucky Air Bros. Jack here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.